In this episode, household cleaning hacks. So do you ever get irritated with all the stains in your mugs from all the coffee or tea that you drink? I know I do. My father has his tea mug and it is stained like this times a hundred. So dad, if you're watching, please learn from this one. Really easy. All you need is baking soda and paper towel. Wet the tissue, dip it into a little bit of baking soda and then I'm just going to scrub. It's working! Oh my god, I'm gonna like OCD all my dad's mugs. This is actually really satisfying. It comes off so easy. <sighs> I'm putting pretty much no pressure on this too. It's freaking unbelievable is what it is. Really easy, there is no more stains. Oh, my father's gonna have a field day. So here's a very satisfying and very easy way to remove rust by using just aluminium foil and water. So you've got to grab a bit of aluminium foil, scrunch it up into a ball, wet the foil ball, and scrub where the rust is. Wow, comes off immediately. God, this is satisfying. The scratch. God, it's like nails on a chalkboard. It's like satisfying, but not. I can't take it. Wow. Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> I want to recommend to put in some earphones. Did you just say earphones? <laughs> I did say earphones. Don't put it on the show, okay? Um, Don't! Okay, so I really recommend listening to some music with some headphones because the scraping drives, will drive you bananas. Will drive me bananas anyway. Anyway, moving on. If you've ever dropped a raw egg on the floor, you will know how irritating it is to clean up. So here's a really easy hack to clean it up in an instant. All you need is some salt. Whoops. You can see that it would be very difficult to clean up because it's quite snotty. <laughs> Slimy? Slimy. <laughs> I'm doing well today, guys. Doing well. So all you have to do is sprinkle the salt all over the egg to solidify the egg. So that's gonna make it a lot easier to clean up. It should only take one, two wipes. All right. So there you have it. It took me less than a minute to clean up. Great if you're in a rush and it does waste a bit of salt. So to all you salt activists out there that are like, oh my God, she's wasting too much salt. Oh my God, how could she do that? Dude, it's okay, you can use a sponge. This show is about easy life. Hacks. If you don't want to do it, that's perfectly fine. Up to you. This hack is for lazy people that have a lot of salt in the home that they never use. I mean, how often do you use salt anyway, really? You use a pinch and then that's it. They sell it to you in a bloody box like that. You don't need that much salt, man. This hack is for people that have lost the flathead nozzle thing for the vacuum cleaner. All you need is a paper towel roll, cut a slit in it, put the roll inside there, and just gonna tuck that in like that, and then I'm gonna tape it. You wanna make it airtight, obviously. You can flatten it or squeeze it to whichever shape you like to get into the groove that you need to. Hi. This hack my mama taught me. See, I still listen to you, mama. Thank you for teaching me this one. This works if you spill any Milo powder or curry powder, or whatever kind of powder or ash onto sofas or rugs or whatever. The worst thing to do is to rub it off. Worst thing. So here's a really simple hack to get rid of it. All you need is a piece of paper or an envelope or something that can hold the ash. Hold the paper tight onto the floor so that there's no gap in between the floor and the paper and just tap beside it and it will all bounce on to the paper. And there you have it. Really easy one. Thanks, mum. So for all of you people with a filthy microwave like so, all the pasta sauce is all dried up. That's really gross. Here's a really simple way to get rid of all that in a cinch. All you need is some water and some lemon. Squeeze the lemon juice into the water, put it in the microwave for three minutes and let that steam away. So once the microwave is done, let it sit for a couple more minutes so that the steam gets into all the knit and gritty. And then after that, Hot, hot, hot. Dip your tissue a little bit into the lemon water and then you just want to wipe it all off. So there you have it, a nice clean microwave just using lemon and water. So if you've got a dirty blender, here's a simple hack to clean it. All you've got to do is fill it halfway up with water 
Put a little bit of dishwashing liquid and chuck it on. And now we just pour it away and just rinse it out. So there you have it, a clean blender and it took less than a minute. And that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos right when they come out, even before they come out on YouTube. Mwah, mwah. Did it the wrong way around. Ding, ding. <laughs>